Okay, what we're going to do in this video is show you the difference between a movable pulley and a fixed pulley. In its simplest form, a fixed pulley would be something like this, where you have some overhead surface, a frame or something, with a pulley attached to it, and you've got a cable or rope going over the pulley. And this is attached to a weight down here, say, on the floor. And then when you uh, pull down on this cable or rope, you lift the weight. Now, if the weight's one pound, it's going to take one pound of force down required to lift that one pound of weight. No mechanical advantage. And if you pull down five inches on the rope, the weight will come up five inches. So basically, no mechanical advantage. Now, for a uh, movable pulley, which we're showing over here, somewhere overhead surface, we've got a, our cable or rope attached to that comes down and goes around a pulley attached to the weight. Now in this case, if you pull up on the cable, the weight will come off the floor, but to, to lift one pound like we did with the fixed pulley, it only requires half a pound of force up to lift it. So there's a two to one mechanical advantage, and there's a distance difference too. If the weight, to get the weight to come up five inches, the rope has to be pulled up 10 inches. That's that two to one difference. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go out to the shop and actually measure uh, the force on this sort of arrangement just for some extra visual effect. As I said earlier, the purpose of this demonstration is to actually try to put some measurements on a, a fixed pulley arrangement instead of a movable pulley. This is our fixed pulley. And what I've got is two scales here. They're digital. Both of them are accurate to two hundredths of a pound. Although that's, you know, not sure exactly how accurate that is, but that's what they're, they're, they say they're accurate to. <clears throat> what I've got here are some weights. This is actually a triple beam balance weight and just a pulley. Reason for the pulley being on there is for the movable experiment. But if, um, you can't see it from the position of the camera. This is reading 1.24 pounds. This one's reading 1.28 with slight differences in string weight and other things. That's about as good as I can get. I've tried to attach this down here um, as vertically as I can. And, uh, and basically, the amount of weight or force you have to pull down on this that's pretty much the weight or the mass that you're dealing with. And uh, it's pretty close. Now, let's take a little closer look at it. Little, these scales are a little hard to see with this camera. But uh, let's see. This one here is reading 1.26 pounds. This one's reading 1.24. So they're pretty close. But what we're going to do is uh, rearrange this into a movable uh, pulley arrangement and uh, and we'll see the difference. Okay, I've rearranged the uh, pulley and the weight. We got the same amount of mass down here. The pulley was part of the weight before, if you remember, um, with this triple beam balance weight and extra S hook and the pulley. Got our paracord fixed up here. The pulley can now move up. So if you take this scale, move this up, see if I go up about 10 inches, this is going to move up about 5 inches. So you got a 2 to 1 mechanical advantage. We're reading about half of where we were before. We'll take a look at that. And uh, so you can see it. Point 0.64, 0.62, 0.64. It's moving around a little bit, so it's about half of where we were before. So definitely if you want uh, to make it easier to pick up something, use a movable pulley if you can. You can add multiple pulleys, top and bottom, and make a block and tackle. And uh, so hope that shows the difference between a fixed pulley arrangement and a movable pulley. And if you like this video, please like us and uh, subscribe to our channel. Thank you.